I had tropical fishes as a, as a kid, as a hobby, and that sort of opens the door to learning a lot about how fishes live, breed, and what they eat. Probably was solidified when I was a senior in high school and took a field course sponsored by the University of Iowa. They took uh, high school seniors to um, the Everglades on a week of uh, exploration and, um, and, and lectures. Probably the most uh, scientifically rewarding project that I've undertaken in the last 10 years or so was a project to find a new genus of catfishes that was um, described in the early 1900s based on one specimen. We had received reports that uh, such a fish existed in southern Venezuela. Over the period of about five years and um, two or three different grants, I put together a project to, to look for this thing. and. Um, after about three trips, we eventually did find a large population of this thing that turned out to be a new species. It turned out to be a very important find in efforts to try to understand the um, morphological patterns in the evolution of this large group that contains about 700 species of South American catfishes. Many of these habitats, even some of the places that I visited, are changing so rapidly. They're being destroyed by oil exploration, by mining, particularly in the Andes where I work now. These habitats aren't going to be there in 20 years and the fishes that live there now that we don't know about may not be there much longer either. I think the harder part as you mature as a scientist is to make priorities of what you would like to do and what needs to be done. For example, um, I've recently um, been working a lot in the Andes at uh, looking at fish diversity uh, at higher elevations. And as you go up in the mountains, there are fewer and fewer fishes. Um, but the fishes that live at moderate to higher elevations in the Andes have never been studied in any detail before. And so the opportunity to learn something new and different that no one else is focused on is um, particularly interesting to me. It's an interesting challenge to do something and specialize in something that um, has some significant conservation and uh, natural history impact.